Welcome back everybody, so my next movie review for you is The Hunt. So The Hunt was released on the 11th of March 2020. Its director was Craig Zobel. Um, it was made on a budget of 14 million US dollars and has so far made 8.1 million US dollars. Its cast in this movie consists of Betty Gil Gippen. Oh, Gilpin, I think that's how you say her name, Hilary Swank, Emma Roberts, Justin Hartley, Glenn Howiston, plus many, many others. So in this Hunt movie, we get to see 12 strangers wake up in a clearing or in the middle of nowhere, not knowing where they are or how they got there, and it isn't long before some ruthless elitists gather to basically hunt these humans for sport. And that is as far as I'm going on the plot line of this movie, because it is a relatively new movie, and one I really, really don't want to spoil it for you. So, what do I think about this movie? I'm actually was, I was actually pleasantly entertained by this movie. I heard about this movie a couple of months ago, and I went, oh, I'll get around to watching that at some point. Today I watched it, and by the end of the hour and 30 minutes, I went, yeah, actually, I'm actually really entertained. I'm not saying it's the best movie in the world, but I am saying it's a very, very entertaining movie, and I'll get into those reasons why right about now. So, the Hunt Movie Review. Like I said, at the end of the hour and 30 minutes, I was actually really, really entertained. This movie does not waste any time of getting into its content, which I actually really, really do enjoy. The first hour of this movie does kind of remind me of the movie Ready or Not. They're just portraying this in a very, very different kind of premise. But as a whole, as a general, I was entertained. I honestly thought this movie was going to be more of a serious movie. And when you get into this and the comedic moments come into this horror thriller, um, action, comedy kind of movie, you go, okay, there's some gory, going to be some gory moments in here, but there's going to be some reliant on comedic factor. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'll go straight into the comedic factor. I did enjoy it. I wasn't laughing all the time. There was enough there to give me a wry smile, and there was a certain point in this movie where I thought that maybe the comedic moments were just going a little bit too far, but then they managed to tame them down just a little bit. Um, I generally really, really liked what they do here, and you don't, you can't get too attached to many of the characters in this movie apart from one, because they do get killed off quite quickly, and some of them get quite brutally killed, but yet they still introduce this kind of comedic element into their death scenes, which just makes it just that little bit more entertaining. The one the other problem, it was it's, this is not even a problem as such, but I'm like I'm one for movies like I'm trying to figure out the storyline through the first hour of the movie, and I generally couldn't do this. You knew that there there were people being hunted, but you could they never actually gave away in depth why they were being hunted. There are Easter eggs in the first hour of this movie to figure out or view to try and start to figure it out, but they don't actually explain it until the probably until about. 15 minute, 50 to 60 minutes into this movie and when it does you'll go like that whoa I actually really like that and there's a few little twists and turns in this movie and some plot lines going on towards the end of this movie which I think is absolutely fantastic I actually really really did enjoy it I enjoyed all of the performances in this movie they all add their certain touch to this movie and comedic elements to this movie but the by far the standout performance is Betty Gibbon or Gilpin's character in this and I do believe she plays a character called Crystal. She is by far absolutely brilliant in this movie throughout. Absolutely fantastic. I love her character so so much. I can't give too much away just in case you haven't seen it but all I can tell you is that she is absolutely brilliant. You do get behind her a lot and you just want to see more of what she can do and I'm telling you now she is an absolute badass in this movie. She's absolutely fantastic from start to finish. I love what she was doing with her character as well it just made it really really enjoyable for me to just to watch her whenever she's on screen you're just like that there's either something really strange going to come out of your mouth or you're going to do some seriously bad ass kickery stuff and it just made it so so entertaining which then leads on to the kind of action sequences in this movie now the action sequences in this movie are kind of there are slower moments in this movie there are 
some more uh, intense, livelier moments in this movie. The livelier moments are more towards the end of this movie, but it generally the fight choreographing is absolutely fantastic. There is a great fight scene towards the end between uh, Gilpin's character and Hilary Swank at the end. It's absolutely fantastic. It's really, really enjoyable. It's, again, full of comedic moments. And normally too much... Com uh, Comedy in a movie like this would kind of, probably would spoil it for me, but it didn't. It really, really didn't because even these comedic moments carry some serious tones at certain points, and it just. It, I think they just got exactly the right level of it as well. And I just, and when I say exactly, I there was a little bit where I was thinking, oh, okay, maybe the comedic elements were going a little bit too far, but. I think they nailed it. There's, you're not going to be laughing out loud. Let me put it like that. You're not going to be in stitches, but there's enough there to give you a wry smile right the way through this movie. And I generally liked that balance that they found while making this movie. And the way this movie was shot, I actually really enjoyed. There are some kind of intense fight scenes in this. There are some action scene sequences in this, which I do generally enjoy. The whole movie itself, I do highly recommend it. I mean, I really, really do. If you can pick out like the little Easter eggs in the first hour to try and figure out what's going in this, on in this movie, happy days, because you will figure it out. There are little snippets or little Easter eggs in this movie, but I wasn't really looking for them in the first, while I was watching this movie. It's not until after I kind of twigged, when I started thinking about this movie, I kind of twigged that they were giving it away. But I generally liked what they did with the storyline. I really, really did. And like I said, the death scenes are kind of brutal, but yet they carry a little bit of comedic moment to them you actually uh, you're actually just like that it's just like it's gonna hurt a lot but yeah i'm just laughing at it i don't know you know i had that little wry smile on it and it just made it an entertaining movie for me i just the, but like i said the main performance out of this and i do highly recommend i do recommend this movie a hell of a lot if you have not seen it i do really recommend it but betty gibbon's character in this crystal she is by far the best character in here she's absolutely fantastic she carries this kind of one minute she'll come out with, she'll say something really, really strange and really, really messed up and you know that she's not right in the head and then she'll just do this massive lot of ass kickery where she is ruthless, badass and trust me, she is badass in this movie. There is no Fs given in certain points of this movie from her which just make it, it just an entertaining watch for me. I could go on about this movie. I could, you know, go into depth, a little bit more into depth for this movie but I just... I'm just trying to sell this movie out there for you guys because I do recommend this movie. Like I said, it's not going to be a movie which is the standout movie of the year, but it's one of those movies which is like what I had last year. Ready or Not or Knives Out. It's one of those movies for me. I watched Knives Out on a whim one night and I absolutely loved it to bits. It's exactly the same with Ready or Not. I watched it on a whim one night absolutely loved it and it would be one of my favorites of 2020 it's as simple as that and i do believe that even though it's made eight what 8.1 million uh us dollars at this moment it is worth more than that and it is worth a lot more than that and i'd say love to see a sequel as long as betty gilpin come back to uh, reprise her role and I, I honestly believe that and i know i'm like shouting about her a lot but she is absolutely fantastic in this movie and i really really enjoyed her on screen i enjoyed all of the characters on screen because they all add their own certain amount to this movie but her character in this really kind of she really shines in this movie and i generally liked what they did here exactly the same with the fight choreographing towards the end and some of the action sequences in, in this movie are entertaining and i was entertained i was not bored if this movie was any longer then yes i would probably start to say that i was getting a little bit bored but i think they nailed it with the runtime with the, the showing of the storyline or the reveal of the storyline I just think they did an absolutely fantastic job of this movie and I do believe it needs to be watched by other people and it's as simple as that. So if I was to rate this, I would give this a good strong 8 and 9 out of 10. It is as simple as that. I find it really, really entertaining. I wasn't bored. Yes, I thought that maybe the comedic elements were a little bit too much in certain points of this movie, but as a whole, I got to the end of it and went, yep, that's a pretty damn good movie. So...
on that note, if you have seen this movie, please tell me what you think. Put it in the comments down below. If you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend this movie. Go and watch it. Come back. Tell me what you think. Put it in the comments down below as normal. Hope you all have a great rest of the day, whatever you're doing. Please take care and goodbye. Thank you.